Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. Due to my busy work, I'm not able to regularly upload videos. Please forgive me for that. Now let's get started. Today, we are going to discuss about one more SAP SD support project real-time tickets. So during creation of a sales order, uh, business user getting this error stating that date so and so is after the end of the factory calendar AG. Okay, so this ticket is all about factory calendar only. Now let's log into the system and understand why we are getting this error. So I am going to create one sales order. Let's see whether we will get that error or not. Going with the soul to and uh, ship to customer. I'm giving some dummy keyword number and click on enter. I don't get that uh, error as of now. If I change the RDD date, requested delivery date in future, that is 2024. Let me change it. See, now I am getting this error. That means if I place an order this year, 31st December 2023, I don't get any issues. If I try to place an order with the date after Jan 1st, 2024 means I am getting this error. First, let's have a look at the reason for this issue. Let me try to create the order one more time. VA01, order type is 4. The sold to or ship to and click on enter. Okay, so the error is stating that it's the end of the factory calendar AJ, right? So let's see where this AJ has been assigned now. If I go to sold to customer, sales area data, blink documents. Here I can see the AJ has been assigned to the invoicing dates. Right, so this is the controlling to throw the error. Now let's see how to avoid this error. Okay, the transaction code to access factory calendar is L S C A L. Let me log into SAP and let me open SCAL. Okay, so here factory calendar is A J. So in this scale transaction code, we see three options public holidays, holiday calendar, and factory calendar. Let's select that factory calendar and click on change. Okay, our factory calendar is AJ. Here it is. Okay, you see here the valid two for AJ factory calendar is 2023 only. Due to this reason, we are getting this error. So what I will do now, I will go to change mode and update it as in 24 and save it. Yeah, click on OK. Now let's try to create the order again. Let's see what will happen now. Okay, let me change RDD to future 24. See? Now I'm not getting that factory calendar error. That means, so we will get this error whenever the validity period of the factory calendar is expired. That means the RID date is greater than that valid two of the factory calendar. That's one thing. So one more thing is that if I remove the factory calendar from this uh, customer, so then also I don't get this error, even though we we give that RDD data as in 2024 somewhere, right? So so it is assigned here, factor calendar assigned to sold to customer. That's why uh, validation happening in the scale transaction code. It's verifying whether valid two is uh, available. It's, it's within the limit of the RDD. If it's beyond the limit, then we will obviously get that error. Moreover the extending the factory calendars 
okay there is one table is there sc16 n uh table is t f a c d okay so this is a factor called definition table t f a c d If I execute here let me sort that uh, value to in an ascending order you see here so many factory calendar has been already expired a uh, few of them are in 2025 expired already and a few of them in 2020 and uh, 2021 and you see there is a only uh, one calendar in 2023 so it's going to expire 2023 so that means wherever this factor calendar has been assigned as in for those orders or transactions the date should be less than 2023 only if we give greater than 2023 we will obviously get that error right and in the table we can see that uh, what holiday calendar has been assigned to this factor calendar and uh, these are that uh, work days right and uh, who created that when created who is the user date and when it was changed right so we do we see this many information here okay and one more thing is that the factory calendar is not used in the knvv right so in knvv p r f k so this is invoicing date this is in sales area of the billing document tab in customer master right so factory calendar will be assigned in that customer master level and it will be assigned in that unloading point so unloading the table for unloading point is knva okay so first let, let me show you that uh, knvv knvv brfk see earlier we have we have seen that uh, in that uh, customer sales level now we are seeing the same field in the database table level also right so it's required for an sap sd consultant to remember the tables along with technical field name for those important fields right so this is one of the table and one more table is that unloading point so in the customer master level we will be defining unloading point unloading point in the sense the when the customer going to receive the goods so we will specify some uh, date and time when we are going to when we are available to receive the goods right that's called unloading point so knva table will be storing those information only customer wise right if execute you see here this is the customer factor calendar so here also we are assigning that factory calendar right and uh, we will be assigning factory calendar in uh, let me note it down this unloading point customers and we will be maintaining factory calendar in shipping points as well so the table is tvst so tvst shipping point table so here also we are assigning the factory calendar right and plant level also we are assigning the factory calendar the table is t1 tw0 1w let me log into t let me sorry let me open the table tw0 1w see here also i see the factory calendar information right so so when we when we receive a request to extend the factory calendar for what is the team okay for orders to cash team or sap sd team right so whenever we receive a request to extend the factory calendar to our what is the team the time what we should do is that we should verify the factory calendar used across these tables the first table is knvv table and knva table tvst table and tw1w table factory calendar will be used in several places as well but uh, coming to sap sd point of view these are the critical places where we should have a look and 
if it is going to expire then we should extend it this is an year end activity in support project every team will do some basic uh, activities at the end of each and every year right and uh, extending of the factor calendar valid too is one of the year end activity and uh, to overcome this issue we should extend the valid two of the factory calendar hope i am able to explain you very well thank you for watching my videos please support me and please subscribe to my channel thank you everyone